Let's go ahead and start with just some gentle movement to warm up our body. We'll do some trunk twists here, side to side with our movements. Nice and carefully, just getting a little bit of warm up through that core here. Seeing how we're feeling. Going just a second so you feel a pull back and forth. Try to find that variation that allows you to move pain free, but also get some good movement. Go ahead and do one pause on each side now. We're going to grab our leg, pull a little bit deeper into that stretch. Take a breath. Exhale, other side, same concept. Nice, easy pull. Take a breath. And relax, very nice. We're going to take our right hand first. We're going to reach down, touch our left toe. And then reach all the way back up and across our body. So we're going to do five of these in total. Down, touch, back, reach. Good. Down, reach. Two more here. Down, touch, reach. Good. Last one. Down, big reach this last time. Very nice. Go ahead, take that other hand. Same thing. Five on that other. Touch. Reach back. Trying to get a twist and a reach using all the muscles in our core. Down. Touch. Reach. Good. Two more. All the way down. Stretch that arm up as far as you can. Last one. Down. Touch. Big. Far reach. Good. Go ahead and relax. Very nice. Okay. Our next drill, we're actually just going to lean back in our chair. And what we're going to do is just point one of our legs out and do some ankle rotations. So this will give you just a little bit of gentle flow through that ankle for our movements ahead. Nice, careful movements. Go ahead and flip directions. Opposite side. Same leg, opposite direction. Nice and carefully all the way around. Very good. And relax. Good. Same thing on that other side. Go all the way around. Nice gentle movements to start. And then whenever you are ready, you can flip directions. Same thing. Other side. Very nice. Go ahead and relax. We'll move up into the front of our chair now. And we're gonna have good posture. Go ahead and put your hands on your shoulders. We're gonna do three rotations as big as you can. Give me one, two, and three. We're gonna reach, try your best to not. <laughs> Might need to shift in your chair to not reach your side, good. Three more, give me one, two, Three, one more, big far reach as far as we can. All the way down, very nice. Let's go ahead and warm up the side of our core a little bit. And what we're gonna do for this one is our TikTok. So this one, not too complex. We're just reaching side to side in our chair, just getting some light, gentle movement, trying to actively touch the ground, okay? That's your landmark. You're trying your best to touch the ground. Another key thing with this is to not bend forward. So you're thinking about keeping your body and chest nice and upright through the movement. Keeping that gaze straight ahead, just bending through the core. Good, one more time. Okay, make this a tiny bit tougher. We're gonna ball our hands into fists now. Same exact movement, so it's a slightly more increased range of motion. You might not even be able to fully get down there. That's actually good because you're just challenging yourself a little bit more. So give it your best shot. Try to tap that knuckle. We got about 15 seconds here, rocking back and forth, getting some good warm up through that core. Good. And relax, very nice. Okay, next what we're gonna do is a march. So up towards the front, good posture position. And we're thinking about actively bringing that knee up as high as we can using our hip flexor and core muscles 
and then slowly lowering it down, trying to find a consistent pace, not just letting the leg drop. We want to be nice and fluid with that movement, letting our muscles do the work. Also, when you're doing this, try not to lean back too much. The more upright you can be, the more your leg muscles and core muscles are going to work. Nice and controlled. Good. We'll quit there. We're going to add the legs now with our arms. So this is what I call a twisting punch. So we're going to march, bring one leg up, and then you're going to twist and punch across that leg, okay? So this is just opposite arm, opposite leg. Nice and controlled, trying to get as much extension through that arm as possible. Straightening that elbow back and forth here. Nice and controlled. Good. Now that we've got the hang of this, we're going to do this for speed now. So 10 seconds, try to get maybe five to six punches. Should take my own advice on that can. Back and forth. Go, 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 go. Keep breathing and break. Good. Take a big breath in, big breath out. We're going to move right into some quickness drills with our feet. So we're going to go side to side and you can kind of envision an imaginary log or imaginary hurdle or object right in front of you going up and down where you can imagine just simply hopping over it. So don't make it too high for this first one. Just make it a little bit off the ground because after we do this a couple times, we're going to do this for speed, okay? So now they got just a bit, 10 seconds now as fast as you can. Try to move those feet actively. Quick, 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 quick. Five, four, three, two, good, one. Very nice. Okay, we're going to do the same concept. We're moving slow at first and then for quickness, but this time you're going to do it forward and backwards, okay? The difference though, uh, in addition to that, is I want you to make your hurdle or object a little bit taller. So it's going to be harder for you to go faster because you're going to ha actively have to bring your knees up higher. Still do your best though, again, to move nice and quick. And we'll be doing that in just a second. Go ahead and get the hang of the movement. Good. All right, 10 seconds as quickly as you can. Lift those knees high. Get some spring in your legs, spring in your ankles. And rest, good, very nice. Go ahead and take a big breath in. Big breath out. Very good. All right, we will move uh, directly into a little bit more core strength. So arms are gonna be to the side of your chair. Similar to our TikToks from earlier, reaching up and over. And when we do this, we're trying to actively lean as far as our body will let us go, okay? So we're taking a big breath in, big breath out. Try to lean a little bit further. Really challenge yourself, big breath in, big breath out, excellent. Repeat on the other side, same concept, actively reaching as far as you can. Big breath in, big breath out, little more of a reach, challenge yourself here, stay with me. Big breath in, big breath out, very nice, go ahead and relax and repeat very good we're going to do one more seated drill and then we'll move into some balance uh, this seated drill today is going to be a leg and arm strengthening drill what you're going to do is put both of your hands beneath one leg and with your leg you are going to actively push down and with your arms you're going to pull up at the same time okay so legs going down arms pulling up we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds once you get into position, okay? So ready, set, go. Push down with your leg, pull up with your arm. You should feel this with your arms, legs, your entire body, keep pushing. Down with the legs, up with your arms. Three, two, and relax, good. When you let go of that, you should feel like your leg might go flying down. That's a good way to know you're pushing hard enough. Same concept on the other side. Grab that leg in position. Ready, set, go. Push down with the leg. Pull up with those arms. Focus on breathing. Letting those muscles do their work. 
three, two, and one. Good. Go ahead and relax. Very nice.